important aspect of this study was showing definitively that the changes in pheromone profiles or hydrocarbons on the surface of the flies are indeed the causal link between attractiveness and aging. And in order to establish this, we were able to use females of different ages, decapitate them, and place them in an arena where naive males, males that had not experienced female contact before, could then choose the, the most attractive female. It was important in these studies to use decapitated females because behaviors from the females themselves can influence the ultimate outcome of courtship behaviors. So this allowed us to remove all those extraneous variables and focus entirely on the external attractiveness of the females driven by these particular hydrocarbons. In the end, we found that regardless of the age of the fly, the choosing males really went crazy for the flies that carried the young pheromone over the old pheromone. This implies to us that the mechanisms that may modulate aging are also important in modulating attractiveness and suggest to us the possibility that beauty is in fact more than skin deep. We're excited by these results because we believe that establishing a link between aging and attractiveness may provide us with some insight into the underlying molecular mechanisms that may control attractiveness across species.